Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video. This is a super quick video all about the new gyro camera stabilizer inside of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, 6K and 6K Pro version 7.9 update. So I was wondering, how is that doing with anamorphic lenses? I haven't tested it out, so I'm going to test out my Siri anamorphic lenses with the gyro stabilization inside of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, because I haven't tested that out. And I'm going to do that, so hopefully this is going to be useful for somebody. So without further ado, let's jump right into the test footage and I'll talk to you along the way. Let's get right to it. So first up, I'm just going to show you the raw clips without the gyro added. So you can have an idea on how handheld the shots actually are and um, how they are working. A thing to keep in mind when you're working with anamorphic footage is to put it in the right aspect ratio. And you do that by right clicking on your clip, going into clip attributes and change that to whatever settings your anamorphic lens has. In terms of the Siri, it's 1.33 aspect ratio or squeeze. And that's what I did with these clips right here. So again, these are the raw clips. And um, in just one second, I'll go to the clips where I did use the gyro stabilization. And uh, we can have a look at how they look. So here we go with the first one. Again, a thing to keep in mind here is to, when walking, for instance, to change the shutter speed or shutter angle to avoid motion blur. And of course, there are some basic rules on how to get the best results using the gyro. And I did do a video about that. So if you want to have some tips on how to do that, take a look at the video up in the top corner or down in the description below. So I'm just trying out different pan and tilts and walks to see if it's possible to actually work with these anamorphic lenses. And shooting anamorphic, especially on the Pocket 4K camera, is a bit hard because of the screen, because it's very hard to see anything. So I um, think it would have been easier if, if I had the 6K or a tiltable screen. And here I'm just doing a side by side. So on the one side, you can see whatever is going on and uh, you can see it with the gyro on the other side um, and of course it is again cropping in the image a little bit to do that stabilization but you can see it's doing a pretty good job especially on a shot like this i think it's doing a very good job it's very noticeable right here for instance on this shot right here that you can see how much the gyro is actually working and how much it's actually stabilizing it it's making the handheld shot look way more professional and way more usable if you want to use this in some kind of a production you're actually going to show people anyway that is a look at how the gyro stabilization works with the anamorphic lenses on the blackmagic pocket cinema camera 4k um, it is a very useful tool to have in your tool bag. It's not going to fix all of your problems when doing handheld, but it's definitely going to help you out. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.